Today we're going to take a quick look at an accessory for the Avon 50 series gas mask, the voice amplifier. As you would expect, it can be difficult to communicate to others while wearing a gas mask. Your speech is muffled and distorted, even in a mask with a decent manual voice emitter. So there has been an effort to develop powered amplifiers to make someone speaking in a mask louder and clearer so that important instructions and orders can be more easily understood in what is likely a critical and stressful situation. These amplifier units have become more refined, with masks like the M50 being designed to accept a voice amp from the get-go rather than as an afterthought. The electrical connections and means to attach the amplifier have already been designed into the mask, so you can easily add it with no modifications or special tools needed. Additionally, this amplifier will work with most other Avon 50 series masks, such as the C50 model that takes standard 40mm NATO filters. Most of the accessories, like this amplifier and the outserts, are used unchanged between the different versions of the 50 series masks. There are three main parts to the amplifier. The amplifier itself, which needs two AAA batteries that goes on the outside of the mask, and the microphone and adapter that goes inside. There are two separate parts, as you can see with the gray and the black there, but they are frequently found joined together as here. Make sure you have all these parts as I have seen the amplifier, microphone, and adapter being sold separately. You need them all for the voice amp to work. Check through any secondhand masks you may be considering buying Sometimes you'll find a forgotten amplifier or microphone left still attached, and you'll have yourself a score. Let's get this assembled and attached. The easy part is the outside of the mask on the 50 series, right down here at the bottom of the voice emitter and exhalation valve assembly. There is a small flap, which if you pull it down, exposes a series of small holes there, and inside those holes go these pins, of which there are two on the mask, and they're keyed so that you can't get it wrong or try to put it in the wrong hole. All you've got to do is get one of the pins lined up with a hole, and when they are, you can just press it into place, and we're good to go. Then we can get the batteries in by unscrewing this little thumb screw at the side and pulling the hatch open and you need two AAA batteries to go inside there. When you got that, you can screw and dog this screw down again and we'll be good to go there. The other part involves getting the microphone and the mask and that can be a bit trickier, because way down there at the bottom is the triple pin port that this plug goes into. And it takes a little bit of force and a little bit of finagle to get it into the right place, because you have to have them keyed properly. The microphone can be a bit of work when you've got it in place with all three pins. Then you just have to push it firmly into place, and it'll be good to go. Now that we've finished that, let's get the mask on and check it out in action. All right, we're suited up and have the mask on now. I'm talking without the voice amplifier on, so you can get a good comparison here. All you gotta do is reach over and toggle that switch, and now the voice amplifier is on. And you can give out instructions to people like, pick up that can. And they'll hear you clearly, 
and much better than without the voice meter unit. Probably makes the profile, the mask, a little bit scarier too. I'd have said it was ape or gorilla-like before, and it's probably pig-like now. Anyway, I hope you like this look at the M50 voice amplifier. Like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks, and see you next time.